Hi guys, recently I made this delicious prawn oyster mushroom dashi noodle soup and it was so flavoursome but light and healthy too. I started off with a big batch of my dashi broth which can be used in loads of Japanese soups or sauces. I go into more detail in my swordfish video below but in a nutshell I just took two sheets of dried kelp, ten dried anchovies, six dried shiitakes, one stick of celery broken up, one large onion halved but not peeled, 60 grams of ginger unpeeled but thickly sliced, and four cloves of garlic unpeeled but bashed with the side of your knife. Then add everything to a large pot or stock pot, top it up with two liters of recently boiled water, then bring it back up to the boil and let it boil for 15 minutes before you turn the heat down to a low simmer, clamp the lid on and allow it to simmer for at least an hour. An hour later, remove all the vegetables with a slotted spoon and then pass the whole broth through a fine sieve to catch any small particles. Then set it aside while you crack on with the rest of the ingredients. You'll need a small tin of cooked bamboo shoots right at the end, a drizzle of sesame seed oil and just one sheet of this nori sushi seaweed. Just take a sheet and roll it up into a cigar shape, then snip it up to make these long ribbons of the seaweed. You'll also need about 200 grams of raw prawns. If they have the veins still intact, you'll need to go at them and remove them. Here I have 150 grams of oyster mushrooms. You can really use whatever kind of mushroom you like here, but I definitely recommend the oyster mushrooms. They've got a really nice flavor. Now for the aromatics, I have some ginger, garlic, and I'm just going to use a really, really tiny bit of chili. Not for any heat really, but just a gentle kind of warmth. So just cut off a tiny bit of it and dice it up really, really finely. Then take your ginger and peel about 20 grams of it before you cut it up into julienne matchstick shapes. Then take your garlic and remove six good cloves of it and peel them. And then I'm using a garlic crusher to crush them up. But if you don't have one, you can use a microplane grater or just a knife to really, really finely mince them. Then set them aside and if you can at all get your hands on some fresh chives, it's really really worth it here. I've got these growing in the garden with this purple flower as well that I'm going to use to garnish it. So just finally snip those up into the plate with your seaweed. The actual cooking takes no time at all, just bring a large saucepan of water to the boil and bring your dashi broth up to a nice simmer. Then take a wok or a large frying pan and place it over a very high heat. Once it's hot, add three tablespoons of vegetable oil. Then go in with your ginger, garlic and chili and stir fry for just 30 seconds until they all become really nice and aromatic. Then pile in the oyster mushrooms and stir fry for about two minutes before you add two tablespoons of soy sauce and one tablespoon of mirin. Give everything a quick stir and by now your pot of water should have come to the boil for the noodles. So take about 100 grams of soba noodles and just dunk them into the water and stir them for just a few minutes while the prawns cook. Now pile in the raw prawns, give them a quick stir and then clamp the lid on the wok and let them cook for three minutes. Then they should be nice and pink and well cooked. So take them off the heat. The noodles should be cooked as well. So drain them and then serve everything at the table. The quantities given in this recipe are for two. So go ahead and add half the noodles to a bowl. Add in a few slices of bamboo shoots, a really good amount, maybe a tablespoon of those chopped chives, a few ribbons of that nori seaweed, which will go really soft when the broth is added. Drizzle over about a teaspoon of toasted sesame seed oil. Now cover everything with a good ladle or two of the hot dashi broth. Now spoon over half of the prawns and the oyster mushrooms. Sprinkle over some more of the fresh chives and a couple of really long strands of chives to add a bit of drama. And if you have a chive flower, break it up and scatter the florets over the soup as well. That looks so beautiful. Finally, you can give the rim of each bowl a good squeeze of wasabi. Just allow people to have a bit of hot wasabi heat if they choose. Then just dig in and enjoy. I probably would have a bottle of soy sauce on the table to allow people to season their own soup as they like. And probably don't forget the Western cutlery as well for the plebs like me who, as you can see, struggle with chopsticks.
So that's it. Thanks a million for watching, guys. I hope you liked this video. If you did, be sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons below. You can check me out on social media if you like. You'll find all the links to my accounts in the description below, as well as the link to my blog where you'll find this full recipe at www.rookiecook.org.